Uh, my name is Mark Hubble. I am a resident of Eugene, 3925 Hilliard Street. Um, let's see. Uh, I have been a member of Right to Dream 2 down in Portland for over a year before I got involved with Sleeps and Opportunity Village here in Eugene. What we want to present to you folks is a model of an alternative model of transitional housing. And we will be incorporating, um, once again, uh, alternative models of living through the Conestoga huts and the uh, budget bungalows. These will uh, service as operating areas for day to day. You know, we're planning on having front desk, uh, you know, an administrative office, kitchen, donation area, as well as a micro-business area that we can go ahead and do, a couple of open areas where we can all congregate, eat our meals, uh, as well as the living areas in back, so on and so forth. Um, we want to bridge, you know, the most important thing here is bridging this perception that you have when you hear the word homeless. These are folks that, um, not by choice, are where they are. These are folks that are very aware of who and what they are and what they want to provide for themselves and their loved ones in their life. We will be able to provide this, this foundation at Opportunity Village. That is our main goal. Um, by providing shelter, by providing a place where you can go ahead and, and eat and uh, hygiene, you know, restroom facilities, and also, at the same time, provide a safe environment. We're going to be doing this through actively um, watching our inside community. Um, we're going to be a self-policing community, as well as eventually going out and being a eyes and ears for the outside community. Um, you know, we felt that this was very important down in uh, Right to Dream 2 in Portland that uh, through this kind of active uh, policing of our area and our community, we uh, provided everybody, outside neighborhood, the inside neighborhood, with a safe environment. Through that, you get to grow. Um, and that's what's most important. As it is a transitional model, we want to provide all the umbrella services, social services, get people in contact with these so that uh, you know, they can make this transition from houseless to low-income housing or whatever that looks like. Uh, and we're going to be doing this 24-7. Uh, this is something that uh, where people can maintain their dignity. And uh, once again, it's about breaking down that barrier of uh, the image of what houseless looks like. These are all houseless folks that are coming in to do this, and we are going to be helping the houses. It is a model that we hope will be self-sustainable and replicable throughout the nation. 